Seth, tell us about how RinCon went this year. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it's gone uh, this year. We have a record attendance. Um, we've been getting uh, better and better every year and uh, just kind of incrementally better and making everything uh, uh, more attractive and more fun for, for the attendees. Um, we've got more events this year with bigger prize pools. We've got uh, a giant sized homemade settlers with baton board that they're playing right now in the, in the lobby. A uh, giant sized ice house pieces that are being used to play Zendo and, and things like that. Um, we've got, we've upgraded our Artemis setup. The people that run the Artemis have gotten new equipment, uh, lights and, and smoke machines and things like that and better software. Um, and we've, uh, our sponsors have gotten uh, more varied. We've got a, a lot of variety now and, and rather than uh, in the past, sometimes it's you know, game store after game store. Now we've got a couple of game stores, but also some people making some uh, homemade jewelry and, uh, and comic book type, type stuff. Like, but very, more of a, a, a diverse thing, including a Texas Hold'em with zombies. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> so what plans do you have for next year? So next year, um, we are going to... Um, we're thinking about how we can add uh, kids programming, because that's become more and more in demand and more and more popular. Um, we want to bring their... their uh, young ones, and so we can uh, support that uh, by having kids programming or, or people teaching kids games and things like that, so we can get more uh, family-oriented uh, programming and people can bring their kids. All right, well, thank you, Seth. I look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks a lot. This is, when you set it up, you can choose which side you want it to be on. So there's actually three different versions of the princess, so when you click over this one, it's completely different. Are you sure that if you have a purple cube on the city, you don't put another purple cube on One of you read that to everybody so that you understand how it works. Games along with Ben Penner, who might be in the background there, uh, in Tucson, Arizona, and that's uh, Broadway and Pantano for those who are in Tucson. And why do you recommend people come to Rincon? Uh, Rincon is good for the, the Southwest. There's a whole lot of other uh, gaming conventions like this around. Uh, at least not in this part. It's very low key. It's very comfortable, which is nice. You don't feel like you're crowded into any place or overdoing anything. Uh, and there's a lot of nice people. And, uh, yeah, you can play a lot of fun games. Hey guys, Mark Cato from Tucson Games and Gadgets. Uh, want to tell you a little bit about what's going on here today for RinCon, where you guys should be. I hope you're going to be coming this coming year if it's coming up. Uh, we come here to RinCon because we want to meet all the people here in Tucson that we play games with in our store. And of course, RinCon, you're going to be finding all of this stuff right on the tables and have a lot of fun. It's amazing. I hope you're here. I hope we're going to see you soon. So where can people go when they're not at RinCon to play games? Come on down to Tucson Games and Gadgets, 2900 East Broadway. You won't be disappointed. All right, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hope it's still. No. <laughs> So it's a lot of change here. Uh, <laughs> 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 